How's it going people, the Complete RS here, and this is your quest guide for Gertrude's Cats. No fast forwarding, just we need to know, so let's get started then. There's no quest requirements or skill requirements for this one. Item wise, you will need one bucket of milk, and one raw sardine, and one dougal leaf. You can't get the dougal leaf, not to worry, they're found just behind Gertrude's house, and I'll pick it up in this quest, just to show you. So besides that, there's no combat or anything, so you don't really need any other items whatsoever, we're just running about in Varrock essentially. But once you're ready, come to the west of the Varrock entrance, and you'll find this house here. Make your way inside and speak to Gertrude to start it off. So once you're in here, go ahead and speak to Gertrude. Choose option one, well I suppose. Run through a chat. And if you haven't got a Dougal Leaf, I'll show you where they are now. They're just around the back of the house. So just come to the south of touch and just pick up one of these Dougal Leaves. Once you go on, it's time to move into Varrock Square. So from here, you want to run into the centre of Varrock. And you want to talk to this bloke right by here, Shillop. Run through his chat quickly. And choose option 2, what will make you tell me? Run through the rest of his chat, and eventually choose option 2, OK then, I'll pay. And carry on running through his chat. So once we've finished with him, you now need to go up towards the Lumberyard. In order to get the Lumberyard from here, you want to run directly to your east and exit out of the east gate. And then you want to follow the pathway almost directly to your north. And eventually, you'll come across the Limby Yard. So once you come to this statue, just go a little bit to your right and then keep going north. And on the west side of the Limby Yard, you'll be able to squeeze through the gate just by here. So make your way inside. In the centre of the Limby Yard, there's a ladder. Go ahead and climb up that. And go ahead and use your bucket of milk on the kittens by here. Don't skip the chat for this part, otherwise you'll have to do it again. Use your dougal leaf on one of your raw sardines, and then use that on the cat as well. Then right click on the cat and pick it up. So eventually you should have a chat pop up saying it's afraid to leave. As soon as that happens, you want to make your way downstairs. And the box, which is bouncing back and forth, you need to go ahead and search them. Until eventually you find your kittens. There's a few of them all together, just search them all and eventually you'll obtain some kittens. Once you have the kittens, you want to head back upstairs then and use the kittens on the cat. Once you do so, you'll get a little cutscene. And eventually, once that cutscene's over, we now need to head all the way back over to Gertrude in West Varrock. So you can either run all the way back there or just home port to Varrock. Home teleport would be a little bit quicker, so I do recommend it. So go ahead and home port, and from that port point you can either run north towards the centre of Varrock and then just go all the way west, or run around the outside of Varrock to get to Gertrude's house. Either way, make your way over there and speak to Gertrude. So once you're back up here, go ahead and speak to Gertrude, you'll automatically start a conversation with her. And that is that, quest complete. Simple as that, that's all you've got to do for this one. And for doing so, you gain one quest point, just over K and half XP in Cooking Lamp, and you also gain a kitten as well. So that's a chocolate cake and a stew. 
Either way, you will need to use that cat in a few other quests, so it's probably worth keeping. Otherwise, you'll just have to come back at a later date and pick it up again. Either way, that is it. That's your Gertrude's cat quest. Hopefully you found it useful, and hopefully you completed this quest. If you have happy days, until next time, I'll catch you all later. Have a good one.